What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating and sometimes eerie world of abandoned celebrity mansions part 2. These extravagant estates, once symbols of fame and fortune, now stand empty, echoing with the ghosts of parties past. Have you ever wondered what happens to these luxurious homes when the stars move on or worse, fall from grace? Buckle up, because we're about to explore the top 10 abandoned celebrity mansions part 2, a glimpse into the forgotten lives of the rich and famous. These abandoned mansions hold stories of excess ambition and sometimes downfall. Some were never even finished, victims of financial troubles or legal battles. Others stand as faded testaments to a bygone era of Hollywood glamour. They represent a stark contrast to the carefully curated images celebrities project. Behind the red carpets and award show appearances, there are real people facing real-life challenges. These abandoned mansions become a physical manifestation of those struggles, a reminder that even the most seemingly successful lives can take unexpected turns. Number 10. Nelly's Tuscan Tumbleweed Let's kick things off with a mansion that's as forgotten as some of Nelly's early 2000s hits. In the suburbs of Saint, Louis sits his abandoned Tuscan-style villa. Built during his chart-topping days, the mansion boasts all the hallmarks of early aughts excess sprawling square footage, marble bathrooms, and a grand staircase. It was a physical representation of his success, a place to entertain guests and enjoy the fruits of his labor. Today, the peeling paint and overgrown gardens paint a different picture. The empty mansion serves as a symbol of the fleeting nature of fame and the financial pitfalls that can befall even the most successful musicians. Number 9. The doomed fate of Mohammed Hadid's palace. Mohammed Hadada of supermodels Gigi and Bella Hadid embarked on an ambitious project a colossal mansion overlooking Bel Air. However, construction issues and legal battles plagued the project, leaving behind a skeletal structure dubbed the Spite House. The story behind this unfinished mega mansion remains shrouded in controversy. The empty shell casts a long shadow over the neighborhood, a monument to unfulfilled dreams and the challenges of undertaking such a massive project. Number 8. Kenny Rogers the Gambler doesn't gamble on this mansion anymore. Kenny Rogers may have known when to fold Ian, but apparently he didn't know when to sell his mansion. This sprawling estate in Georgia features a recording studio, a movie theater, and even a baseball field. It, it embodied the luxurious lifestyle Rogers could afford at the peak of his career. The amenities hinted at his passions beyond music, a place to relax and create outside of the spotlight. Sadly, financial woes forced Rogers to let it go, and it's been sitting vacant ever since. The empty mansion raises questions about the financial security of celebrities and the burden of maintaining such extravagant estates. Number 7. Wilt Chamberlain's Bel Air Mansion Wilt Chamberlain, the NBA legend, had a custom-designed mansion perched on a Bel Air hilltop. Nicknamed Ursa Major Latin for Great Bear, this 12,000-square-foot giant featured extravagant details that reflected Wilt's larger-than-life personality. Built in the 1970s, it boasted a soaring living room with a cathedral ceiling and a swimming pool that extended into the room itself. The mansion had a reputation for opulence, with a mirrored ceiling over the bed in the master suite and a rumored X-rated room with a waterbed floor. Despite its grandeur, the mansion has been on and off the market for years, undergoing renovations and ownership changes. It remains a fascinating reminder of Wilt's life and tastes. Number 6. Johnny Carson's Malibu Beach House Johnny Carson's Malibu Beach House was a luxurious estate with a complex fate. Perched on a bluff with Pacific Ocean views, the modern residence featured floor-to-ceiling windows, a spacious living room, and an Asian-inspired lounge. The property boasted four acres with a tennis court, guest house pool, and even a path leading to a secluded beach. Johnny Carson, the legendary talk show host, enjoyed this retreat for two decades. However, after he passed away, the property wasn't sold but rather acquired by magician David Copperfield. Copperfield's intention was to demolish the house and build anew, but those plans stalled. The mansion has remained vacant ever since, a shell of its former glory overlooking the Malibu coastline. Number 5. Lionel Richie's Beverly Hills Mansion Lionel Richie's Beverly Hills Mansion is a sprawling estate boasting luxury and a touch of wanderlust. Built in 1929, it has a rich history and has been extensively renovated by Richie. Encompassing a whopping 28 rooms and 17,000 square feet, the mansion offers ample space for grand living. 
Unique features include a tennis court, a movie theater, and even a recording studio. The design reflects Richie's travels, incorporating influences from places like Lake Como and Poland. Despite its grandeur, the mansion has seen multiple attempts at selling but hasn't found a permanent buyer. Number 4. Clark Gable's Encino Estate Clark Gable's Encino Estate was once a idyllic 20-acre ranch in California. The Hollywood legend, known for his role in Gone with the Wind, purchased it with his wife Carol Lombard in 1940. The couple enjoyed a countryside lifestyle amidst orange groves, stables, and a barn. Tragically, their time there was cut short. Carol Lombard passed away in a plane crash just two years later. Gable remained living on the ranch through subsequent marriages, but the property never regained the same joy for him. After his own passing in 1960, the estate was eventually sold and transformed into the Clark Gable Estates neighborhood. Number 3. Jerry Lewis Las Vegas Mansion Jerry Lewis Las Vegas Mansion was once a symbol of the comedian's success in Sin City. The sprawling 7,200-square-foot estate served as his home for 35 years and likely hosted many a raucous party. The house boasted features like a petrified wood fireplace, a sparkling pool, and a spacious backyard. However, after Lewis passing in 2017, the mansion's fate became uncertain. Financial troubles led to the property being sold a few times, even facing foreclosure at one point. The once lively residence fell into disrepair and even risked demolition. With its recent sale in 2023, the future of Jerry Lewis Las Vegas mansion remains to be seen. Whether it will be restored to its former glory or transformed entirely is a question mark hanging over this piece of Vegas history. Number 2. Liberace's Las Vegas Estate Liberace, the famed entertainer known for his glitz and glamour, owned a one-of-a-kind estate in Las Vegas. This wasn't just a house, it was a sprawling mansion known for its extravagant design. Pink mirrored walls, undoubtedly reflecting Liberace's dazzling outfits and over-the-top decor that embodied his flamboyant style. Today, the Liberace mansion seems to be on a more positive path. It underwent restoration efforts and is even available for tours, allowing fans a glimpse into Liberace's world. So, while the estate's journey hasn't been all smooth sailing, it appears Liberace's legacy will continue to live on within its walls. Number 1. Peter Lawford's California Beach House Peter Lawford's California Beach House was a former Hollywood hotspot located on Santa Monica's prestigious Pacific Coast Highway. Known for its beachfront access and luxurious amenities, it was a popular gathering place for enlisters in the 1950s and 60s. Names like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and even John F. Kennedy were rumored to have frequented the parties there. However, after Lawford's death, the house fell into disrepair. Neglected and vandalized, it lost its former glory. The property has since been extensively remodeled and sold, transforming from a celebrity hangout to a multi-million dollar mansion. Wow, what a journey we've been on. These abandoned celebrity mansions offer a glimpse into the complex lives of the rich and famous. They remind us that fame and fortune are not always guarantees of happiness and that even the most extravagant dreams can crumble. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future episode. Let us know in the comments which abandoned mansion surprised you the most and what other abandoned places you'd like to see explored. Until next time, take care and stay curious.